Basketball 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Welcome to Goody Mo Gaming. This is Kevin Harlan alongside. Hope everybody having a good Thursday. Terrific Thursday is what I like to call it. Well, game two of the finals. Bucks and Suns. See how this one's going to turn out. Suns was able to get that one at home. Kind of predicted that. Rolling off some adrenaline. Had a little more rest. Welcoming in Milwaukee. Well prepared. Made a little run. And uh, we're here. Giannis is back. His first game wasn't too bad, actually. You know, he came in with some good numbers. Coming back off of that, that leg injury. So, uh, hopefully he can get stronger as this series moves forward. But I'm pretty sure they're going to come and try to get this one and try to get a split. They don't want this to run, run away too far. So we're about underway and we're about to get this one's going and see what the result's going to be. Hopefully a closer game, that's for sure. Execution on the fast break will probably determine the outcome in this one. Fast break points, a big stack to keep an eye on. Lopez finds Holiday. Down low. And one. I tell you what, Middleton really does a nice job at being able to score. Middleton surely showed out in game one. Still gets it up and down. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. I think he scored about what 29 points, seven rebounds. Not bad. The only thing, it was a two-man show with uh, him and Giannis. Boy, for me, it's really been Giannis had 20 and 17. Shot okay from the field. Coming back off that injury, you know, he wasn't too aggressive, but he did enough. But he, they just didn't have enough help. It was just mostly Middleton and him uh, putting in the work. And then when you look on the Sun side, I mean, you had three of their biggest stars and big numbers with help. So it's Milwaukee with it. So it ain't nothing too complicated when you kind of look at the stat sheet, which way that one uh, went. So. Score the basket is second of two attempts. Two for Middleton. Middleton is absolutely dynamic. And when he's involved, they're having a little too easy for him to start. He's getting planted in that paint without resistance. But once again, they'd rather him in the paint than outside shoot threes. So they probably take those twos from him. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Man, tough shots. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid Y'all go get down. Y'all need a good start early. Y'all plan on winning this game. Y'all need it. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. Lopez with the block. All right, get out early. that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. And he recovers it. The Suns trail it. Here's Crowder. Crowder for the dunk. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Well, great, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best? Middleton still right looking to get to the paint. Going to line for two. Some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there. 
as well, but Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, also something I like out of them so far, they're throwing their bodies around in the paint, and, and the physicality is taking its toll. Langston Galloway's checked in for Mikael Bridges. and hits them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Here's Paul. Passes to Aiton. Booker outside. Shoots over DiVincenzo. No good from Booker. Very surprised. Gotta run. Came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Oh, good. Here's it to the rim. They'll have a good opportunity in this first quarter. Son's not hitting everything. Booker against DiVincenzo. And Booker kicks to Paul. From downtown. Rebound Giannis Antetokounmpo. And stolen by Eaton. Here's Galloway. The three-pointer no good. Middleton looking it over, and here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Rolls around, almost falls through. They're going to need all of that shooting. With a floater, and good that time. Booker's got his second basket of the game. Against Booker, a little contact usually doesn't go a long way. Strong body control there. Here's onto Takumbo. Oh, no good spin side. move, but better dish. As that one goes in. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. The pass to Booker. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Way to stay in front of him, Crowder. You're outsized. All you can do is play good position. Run it. I need easy buckets. Giannis outside. Trying to get open as Lopez. And that's good from Anadokounmpo on the assist by Middleton. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Booker in the post. Defended by DiVincenzo. It's good defense, but I wouldn't rely on that. We're going to have to send a double team. DiVincenzo cannot hold Booker. Here's Lopez, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Out to Kumbo against Crowder. This is to Galloway. The three, he's got it. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Bucks have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. And Takumbo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. Sometimes it's a real trick bag trying to guard onto Takumbo. I mean, his skill set and build and length and athleticism draws a ton of fouls. Two shots. Relax on the first. I'm going to go with a split early on this one with Giannis. So I can get five bucks early. Free throw good. Giannis. A lot of great talkers over the years. Trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg? Or do they uh, do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? And Kevin, that's a, a great question. And believe it or not, 
He's got I've one more to I've go. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, but I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive oh, their confidence. Oh, got me five in a hole early. Uh, it's about you figuring out what works. Y'all excuse me a minute. I got to step out just for a few minutes. I'll be right back. During the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that way. No, we don't do that. <laughs> well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. But, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And it's the way Aiden uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. Offensive rebound. Middleton outside. Middleton is doubled. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Buries the long-range jumper. DiVincenzo's got five. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second-chance buckets. Now here's Crowder. Here's Booker. Here's Hayton, and he finishes nicely on the way. Eight points for him. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. All right, I'm back in the saddle. I had to step out just for a few minutes. Twenty-four nineteen, Milwaukee, feeling good early. With about four minutes left in the first quarter. Oh, that looked like a block. Surprised he got that off. Uh oh. Good cut by eight. Execution. Good job working the ball inside. And so it's deep with it. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Three point lead. Middleton on the wing. Good defense, Booker. I think Middleton should have just turned around and shot that as soon as he received it. It allowed that defense to recover. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Just a one point Milwaukee lead. Is strong. Sarge for sure shouldn't be in this ball game. Just glad he's not an impact player, but yeah, he's he's out for the season. Like I said, these guys on the roster, man, it don't matter if they're the end of the roster and the blowout, they might get inserted depending on the position they play. I just hate to see it. So as soon as I figure out how to get these injured players completely off the roster we'll do that left side charge rebound milwaukee fast break milwaukee oh my goodness got tuck on the turnaround I think that's the first turnaround he's done. Good dunk. First turnaround he's done in his NBA career, high school career, college Pee Wee career. I don't think PJ <laughs> shoots any turnarounds. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye opening. Payne passes to Aiden. Back to Payne. Good ball movement here by the Suns. My goodness. Man, that one's good, Aiton. And they're beginning to just... Man, what can we say about Aiton? And his young career, early career. Four straight field goals 
This guy putting up numbers, man. I, I tell you what, let him get four or five more years under his belt, see where he's going to be at. He could easily be an MVP in this league. He's doing majority of this stuff without even shooting jump shots too much. I mean, he's got to turn around and hit the 12, 15 footer, possibly a three, but he's going to continue to work on his game. And uh, when he gets it all polished, man, watch out. I mean, really watch out. He's going to have such a huge payday coming <laughs> with his time. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, Suns got to seal him up on one of them lifetime contracts. Get him like a 10-year, like a, a baseball contract. But it can be broken. We all know that. Because like years ago, they tried to seal up Conley in Memphis with that big contract before all that money came out. And uh, you can't be traded. It's, it's always a team out there willing to take on those big contracts. You want to be moved. There's 138 left to play here in the first. Seeing that with Chris Paul as well. And there's the foul. It'll go on so these days, you don't have to play for a team if you don't want to. Just say you want out. You'll be willing to sit out. Every basket's a big one in a tight game. And he is not about to give up an easy look. Thirty twenty-seven. Nobody's pulled away yet in this ball game. Hope it stays pretty tight. Pass to Galloway. One twenty-five left here in the first quarter. Five on the clock. Stolen oh, good Tucker. defense, Tucker. Get out and run. Here's Forbes. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Boy, Forbes showing you some quick footedness. They're looking a lot better in this game, too. Can they sustain it? The defense. Great D that time for Middleton. And Teague has it in the corner. Back to Middleton. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Oh man, he got it back, in for two. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Payne passes to Sharich. Back to Payne. Kaminsky with the ball. What do y'all think about all this Rachel Nicholson stuff? Or should I say Rachel Nichols? Uh, that's in the news. I mean, she didn't cover the finals. They kind of got her sitting in the back view right now. But with her and Maria Taylor, I tell you, man. <laughs> sometimes you just don't know about people. True colors come out when they're behind the scenes and not thinking the right people are listening. But, uh, I'm a, of course, I'm on Maria Taylor's side. Uh, Rachel Nichols, like I say, certain people you see, you root for, uh, you don't have a problem with, feel good about. And then when you find things out behind the scenes of how they really are, man, I tell you what, it can change everything. 37-30, uh, by the way, in the first quarter. But yeah, that's just a tough situation right there. So it makes you view people totally different when they speak their mind and not thinking other people are listening. So, like uh, they're saying, the go along, get along game, she's definitely part of it. So I'm not a, a fan. Yeah, she apologized, but that wasn't genuine. That's something that was scripted. You know, ESPN put together something she had to do. But I will tell you this. Anybody else that have been fired, that just shows you how much they're into and love this Rachel Nichols. That was anybody else that have lost their job. It don't matter if you work at Popeye's or a construction worker, or in a warehouse somewhere, call a dealership. You got some leaked out like that about about a colleague or a coworker, somebody you're you're involved with, you work with, you're gonna be gone. 
as simple as that but when we get up to talking about these elites people putting these high places covering for people this is what happens I wonder if Maria Taylor will still have her job if she was behind the scenes and said that about Rachel Nichols. Think about that one. I think we all know which way that would have went. But yeah, that, that's just, that's just terrible. And then watching the finals, uh, her replacement, you had Chris Paul. He, he was very arrogant. Yeah, I mean, that interview... Uh, I forgot that reporter's name, but that, like I say, they, they sabotaged that whole finals. Drowned her out where you can barely even hear her on the interview. Couldn't barely hear her. It, it, was, it was a disgrace. They went out there to make her look bad behind something she had nothing to do with. That, that was between Rachel Nichols and Maria. But threw her in there and embarrassed her and just shot her down. She's just trying to do her job. But they got the crowd. They they cut her audio down. You couldn't. You didn't know what she was saying. And like I say, go back and look at those uh, Rico Nichols interviews. You can hear her clearly. Great audio. You can hear the interviewer. I mean, it's it's, it's just disgusting what uh, ESPN was able to do. So my take on that is just very salty. And it just shows you what you root for ain't all good till you find out. Till you find out. So they're going to move her around. They're going to uh, hide her a little bit. Take her off a couple of assignments. Then try to sneak and wiggle her back into place. No. They ain't pulling the blinders over our eyes. We see what's going on. Good pull up, but Paul misses. Hey, Milwaukee got a 10 point lead. I mean, what a start. Middleton on the wing, defended by Bridges. And Middleton kicks the tee. Oh, that was tough. Push it. Get some early. I mean, a foul by PJ. Anytime you can get fast break, get easy points in transition, especially when you're in the finals, when everything is bogged down to a half court game, where you don't, they don't allow you to run as much. You gotta take advantage of those opportunities when you get them. Those are easy points. No need to walk the ball up every time down the court. Just going to wear your team down. Trying to beat a great defense. That's tailored to stop you. That's game plan to stop you. Know what you're running. So, yeah, anytime you get out and run, good things are going to happen. And Drew Holiday has to play a lot better in this series if they're going to plan on winning it, winning it all, winning the whole finals, winning the championship. It's going to ride on him and his production. He's going to have to get more aggressive, more consistent. Paul looking around. Pass to Sharich. He feeds it to Crowder. Oh my. Payne, you should have shot that. He was open for a split second. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Great tee that time from T. And watching after the Kumbo get to the rim, can GA take your breath away? <laughs> Tell you what, Middleton ain't waiting for nobody. He said, give it to me. I ain't gonna think about it. What have you? But none of it feels like an exaggeration. Here's Paul. Get that out of here. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Oh my, good strip. Paul's by himself. I know y'all didn't expect the monster dunk. 
from that. that transition offense. Push the ball up the floor. The defense can't get set, and you can get some easy baskets here. Now, here's under the Kumbo. He has six. The pass to Middleton. Over Bridges. Good defense. Great defense. Force three by Giannis. They never did nobody wrong. Payne in the post. Giannis is there. Payne kicks to Paul. Outside Crowder. The dish to Bridges. Opens against Sharich. Get that out of here. Seen that coming. Lopez with the length. The Suns making a switch here. Aiton's checked in. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Bucks leading by 11. Who got Holiday? Now here is Holiday. Giannis left side. And stolen by Aiton. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Bridges, what you got? He's got it. Bridges has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Trust me, these Suns can get back in the game very quickly with their shoot. So Milwaukee, they can't just feel like, you know, they're out of it. Good block. Like everything is good and they can't get back in this game. Like right there, I probably call the timeout. Any little run like that, I'm calling a timeout. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Nice little pull up. We gotta hit that Bridges. That's uncontested coming off that rub off screen. You gotta drop that. Middleton can't get it to go. Suns trail by eight. Paul, no one around him. That's money. Passes to Middleton. Loads it up for Giannis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley -oop. Holiday against Paul. Deflects the pass and stolen by That was a mismatch, too. He could have got that ball to eight and had DV Senzo on him. They get the rebound. And the Kumbo. And Giannis throws it down. Hey, offensive rebound. Positioning is important, but nothing's more important time out, time out. than pursuing the pumpkin. And Antetokounmpo is always There's the timeout. And first time but it comes from Phoenix. Phoenix. 50 to 43. 548 remaining in the second quarter. Been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. Yeah, but it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with ESPN with all this mess going on. It's going to be very interesting. Booker, he's to Devin Booker. And so here's Phoenix. Seven point differential. Booker the pass to Crowder. Count the basket. Crowder's got five points so far. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. So drive, Holiday. Need a lot more of that. It's clear. A lot more of that. Joy's going hard at the defense and finishing on them. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game. Booker outside. And a great assist Good by shot. The that one goes in. Paul's got the Oh, now y'all want Charles timeout now. Timeout called by Milwaukee. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Y'all been doing a good job so far, not allowing Booker to get free for three. He started opening that up. 
We know what this can lead to. We're narrowing it down. August is coming. NFL football is coming back. Oh, good shot. Under pressure off the glass. You know, so I hope everybody's ready. I'm pretty sure everybody's ready for some football. Seems like it's been a long time. You know, even though time flies. But it just seems like football's been gone for a while. For some crazy reason. But yeah, I'm ready to get that going. As y'all know, I do cover uh, the football side of it as well on Madden. So the beat goes on. I will be running commentary on those games as well. It'll be my uh, first go output on it. So I'm going to be very excited about getting that going. Shot clock at See who's going to lead to the Super Bowl. Any picks? Bucks leading by four. Everybody probably still running with Tampa Bay, huh? Or you're going to say, oh, the Chiefs. I got a few. Oh, we got those delusional Cowboy fans out there thinking every year they're going to win a Super Bowl. But they see what happens. And they'll just come back again next year and say, we're going to win it again. <laughs> That's Cowboys for you. But as y'all know, I'm an Eagles fan, so Cowboys is not in my vocabulary. But Suns shooting their Phoenix. third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were 57 so 50. From the charity strike. Aiden's going strike. to the line. Yeah, Phoenix, they just want to edge, keep shooting it close. Two. You know, they expect Milwaukee to come out with a, a bigger punch in this one. They don't want to leave Arizona, the, the Valley of the Sun, down 0 2. They don't want to do that. So you're going to get their mighty punch. Phoenix knows that. They just want to hang around. They're at home. Shoot. If it's a seven-point ball game with six minutes left, Phoenix will take that. They feel like they can overcome that deficit. So to make it comfortable for Milwaukee, they need to get a double-digit lead and try to hold it as long as they can. Because like I said, this Suns team is powerful. They got shooters all over the floor. You got a floor general. You got a legit superstar. I don't know what the hell Holiday was doing on that shot. So legitimate superstar and booker. Yeah. They like they odds against anybody in any situation. Here's Galloway. Got to block him out. Just like that is a three-point ball game. They needed that badly. Kick back. I seen it. Bridges for three. Couldn't get it. That was the right play. Good double team. But you got Holiday. Money. Their third three-pointer in a row. Money. Time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. They get a hand on it. Got to get off the ball. You see the double team. And we're gonna have a jump ball. Jump ball. Key, key, key. And why That's are they players. double teaming? Galloway <laughs> beats me. 
All the shooters they got around the floor, you're going to double team Galloway. That's just not smart. Bucks leading by nine. And the pass to Ida the Kumbo. Oh. He draws the foul, a chance for another point at the free throw line. Oh, my goodness. Boy, for such a young player. If you want to ride, then ride the Greek horse really all the way to the rim for the and one. Steel makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. The box also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Teagan for Drew Holiday. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And, and quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted. Man, gets it right back. So, looking back so I just have a hard time of keeping him off the rim. Well, I say you don't have to call plays for eight. He gets involved. And now he's taking a solid opening in the quarter and built Eleven rebounds already for Giannis. There's 49 seconds left in the first half. Here's Bridges. That shot off. Great D that time from team. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter. That's the way to answer the bell for Milwaukee. I mean, the Phoenix Suns was just making a run to try to overtake this game down by three. And Milwaukee was able to say, uh, -uh slam the door. Time for us to go again. That's his first foul. Milwaukee making a switch. So they needed this separation leading into this second half with 22 seconds left. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. Galloway, the pass to Sharich. Here's Hayton, and they call the foul. So a chance Where would they be without him? Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. The Suns have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. One shot. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Not loose. It's stolen by Sharks. And so it's Milwaukee. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by. We Corsair. will David. be back. Kevin, thank you. Jeff, you guys had a great first half. Is the key to the second half to continue to be that aggressive? Yeah, we got to play defense. They're a really good team. They're going to play hard. They're real physical. We just got to come out and keep guarding. Jeff, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Chris Middleton came out on a mission in the first. He had 18 points, three rebounds, and two assists. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucs? Well, so far, uh, impressive performance by Middleton. Uh, can do a little bit of everything on the floor. Has an incredibly diverse set of skills. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? Well, the perimeter D is <laughs> just too loose. 
I mean, there's no excuse for letting the team rain that many threes on you. And at that high a percentage, guys aren't fighting through screens. They're not staying with their shooters. They're not helping out. Just bad basketball on a defensive end. They've got to tighten it up on a high level in the second half. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Start of the second half. One half to go. And so but I'll tell you one thing: if Aiden's gonna be the one doing all the work, they're gonna be in trouble. And presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for the Suns. This the guy that's got to get going. But they're doing a hell of a defensive job on him, as you can see. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. And no. Bucks leading by nine. Vincenzo finds Middleton. Whoa! Toilet bowl round and round and then boop. Being an offensive player always appealing to me. And Chris Middleton is one of those guys who's got great versatility. Now here's Booker. That was a little constipation jump shot there. That's what I would call that one. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressive. Defense. Oh, man. Way to knock that ball over. free. Booker looking around. There he goes. Yeah, you got to get going. You know it. Because once you do, there will be trouble. things to come. He's looking at having a very big second half. One shot. One shot. An accurate shooter from all areas of the floor. Booker has the confidence needed to dominate on offense. Antetokounmpo passes to DiVincenzo. Ball against Holiday. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And another one of the nice footwork. Goal. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo, my goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. We have uh, got to uh, see that uh. sensational mobile one block again. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Hey, yo, quick, 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 quick. Holiday against Paul. And to the Kumbo inside. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got four rebounds in this game. To the inside. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, just proving how fast he can heat up. Once Aiton finds that rhythm, he is going to work. Here's Holiday. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Holiday's got nine. That's three of four here to start the half. Holiday against Paul. Pass to Booker. Shoots over DiVincenzo. No good from Booker. Bucks leading by nine. To the paint. Here's Antetokounmpo. And you know, it almost said... Right off. Antetokounmpo is... I'm going for a split. Really, I mean, he took five away from me. I want it back. They want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. He is three for three from the free throw line. Take a break. 
Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Hey, if you had a list of the most athletic players in the NBA and did a roll call, it would be not long before you got to Antetokounmpo. The Greek freak is a real deal. He's off on the second. Yes, indeed. To start the second half. Thank you for tying it up, but Booker, catch and shoot. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Can't allow him to get into a groove. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Won't lose. The defense. All on Aiden's defense. Suns trail by seven. Booker outside. There's the pass to Paul. Here's Crowder. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Crowder's got seven. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotation has been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And Giannis gets it to go. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. This is coming out on fire. Booker dishes to eight. Oh, my. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He could have took that all the way with the angle he had or dished it off, which he decided to do. His size to draw these fouls. The Suns have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Bridges with the steal. Kicks it to Paul from 13. Get out of here. Paul trying to shoot it right in the freak's face. Here's Payne. Here's Aiton. There he goes again. There he goes again. 12 for 13 from the field. 28 points. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Now here is Holiday. He's got nine. A shot by Kubo. Nobody around. That's exactly what they want you to do. Long jump shots leads to run out. Paul for three. He's got it. One point ball game that quick. Milwaukee, what you gonna do to answer? Are you gonna fold? Have a chance to take the lead on this possession. Go, oh, good slip. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Man! Get it back the other way, a turnover. Defense by Giannis. Don't even think about shooting that. Oh, D.V. sends or bailed him out. Shot clock's running down. What are you doing? And the Suns call time. Without question, Chris Middleton displaying his skills today. 
You know, that defense is helpless right Good time now. out. Monty Williams want to get some set up. He'd like to take the lead on this possession himself. Milwaukee starting to fall apart a little bit. Gonna have to grip it. Those hoes are gonna have to talk to them. They gotta get this thing settled down. You do not want to play an up and down game with the Suns. I know you got shooters yourself, but you can't get up and down like these Suns can get up and down. Now here's Payne. Let's see what they got set up here. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bridges. And good. It's a good shot. I don't know if that was called, but Bridges got it to go. And they have taken the lead. Not for long. As Holiday gets the layup. Oh, hi. Okay, Crowder. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Adekumbo kicks the team. Adekumbo looking over the floor. Got to make a move, Giannis. Yeah, and T keeps defenders off balance, out of their comfort zone, and quite often because of that, he's able to draw fouls. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Suns. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing Take a break. it. And they've Take a break. continued to succeed Two shots. as the game has worn on. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. The first free throw is good. Some changes for Phoenix. Charge checked in for DeAndre and Langston Galloway subbed in for Paul. And then for Milwaukee, Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Bryn Forbes in for True Holiday. And so T gets two free throws. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Suns. It's a one-point game. Inside, charge. Yep, that one. And one. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. For Phoenix, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Shooting one. That one falls from Sharich. You know, the toughness Sharich possesses is really pretty impressive. A guy who lost six teeth in a game one time and kept on playing. Wow. Now here's Teague. He has some, some solid defense. Oh, from turnaround Sharich. shot. Well defense. Router finds pain. And here is Sharich. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time. You telling me in the bonus with just over five minutes left. Milwaukee's starting to lose grasp on this game. They're getting frustrated. They're starting to make big mistakes. He was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys. Um, for any team coming down the stretch in close games, you got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about it. And that one falls from Sharich. And the Suns making a change here. Booker's checked in. Sharich nails him both. Well, he's certainly been on target. Four point ball game. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Teague, the pass to Portis. Tucker with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 
And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to two on the bucket for Middleton. Well, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. We know he can shoot it from outside, but inside points are over. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. Fourth foul on P.J. Tucker. Those free throws. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. A 78% foul shooter a season ago. Pretty steady when he's at the line. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. Now T. He's got seven. He dishes it to Middleton. Middleton is doubled. Oh, good find. Good find. Just the total package, not just a score. But a terrific passer as well. I tell you what, in this this series throughout the playoffs in general, Middleton showing his worth, especially when Giannis been out. I don't know what his uh, contract situation is, but uh, <laughs> he's due some money too. Whether it's with Milwaukee or with another team, but he deserves some money. Here's Portis, and he makes good on the layup. Portis has got four points this quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. As Milwaukee the takes a one-point lead. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter. Wide open. And by you know, once he's in the paint, Sharich is ready to throw it down. Bucks have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. And there's the pass to Portis. There's another cut. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Sharich. Sending Portis to the line. Or should I say crazy eyes? <laughs> when I heard that nickname, I was like, they couldn't have put it no perfect in that. Crazy eyes. That's exactly what I've been thinking all this time. Like an animated character. I mean, he's got them things out there. Take a break. Take a break. I don't think anyone in his family or his teammates want to make him mad. And the first one at the line is good. Andre Ayton's checked in for Dario Saric. Oh, here comes the demolition man. Coming in with shoulder pads on, a spiked helmet, knee pads. I mean, they got to figure out what they're going to do with him. Both good from the line that time. Phoenix has gone 7 15 Because at first, I didn't think he could single handedly win a ball game, but that's exactly what it's looking like. Here's Crowder and Crowder. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Feeds it to Middleton, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. I like seeing Middleton throw it down like that. Boy, he's a great athlete, and he finishes with a little style. Pass to Booker. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Three on Portis. Booker's going to the line. Once again, you can book it. I just don't recall the last time he missed a free throw. They do, it doesn't they happen do often. And I'm not counting on it here either. Penetration. They've been aggressive on the Two. bounce at attacking the defense. Free throw, good book. And 
and good on the second, so he makes them both. Like Phoenix stays in the bonus. And Tiggs have the ball here for Milwaukee. They trail timeout, by timeout. one. Timeout called the Bucks. And they're picking Pardon. up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need a to lot of fouls. Their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. it off the right side of the rim you know they don't score on that shot but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions oh very close to going back court and Aiton gets double team pain that three off the mark and the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three i didn't think it was a bad choice oh that was rushed nice shot by porter instead of clean it up points there got him on a nice play Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Booker outside. Pulls it from the elbow. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. The He's paving himself a good game. But like I say, there's nothing rush with Booker. That's why sometimes you can think, well, he's not into the game. He's not that involved. Then you look up, he's got 30 points. John Bobby Portis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game and do the bonus. We'll head to the line for two. The Bucks making a switch here. That's yeah, Milwaukee's doing there. way too much fouling. They got like three or four players and four fouls. Phoenix has gone two or three. So it's gonna be an interesting in fourth quarter. In fourth quarter, excuse me. If uh, they don't have bodies available. A true two-way player, I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to use that length to bother shots and disrupt passes. Pain again. Pain is good. Had a feeling he wasn't going to miss that one. He just had one and missed it. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. To the middle. The defense, Aiden. He had position. Still was able to bother that shot. There's a senseless turn over there, getting a rebound and having a foot right on the stripe as he comes down. Key possessions. You can't just throw them away. Now here's Payne. Look at that. That's five on you. Yeah, they they just taking their time and breaking this defense apart now. He's had five chances at the line, gone four for five. And his percentage at the line the last season, right at the 75% mark. Two shots. For a big man, he doesn't miss often himself. First one falls for Dante DiVincenzo. He is a he good free throw shooter. Middleton. Trying to give Middleton a little he blow before. Fourth quarter begins. Bucks trail by six. Teague surveying the D. Sweet little floater. Teague's got nine points. Man, the finesse and the skill from Okay, y'all got a D up here. Why did I say that? Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The drive by Booker. There's the feed to Bridges. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Sure, another foul. Why not? This is his first free throw of the game. 84%. That, that's what he was able to convert on a season ago from 84%. Guys, if a game was coming down to the water, thanks for letting me know. I mean, he was the guy I won't touch him I mean, at all. Free throws because of his proficiency there. And he makes the first. Comes back the floor general. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Bucks trail by six. Giannis outside. Oh, just off the rim. Well, what will Milwaukee do in this fourth coming up? Are they going to disappear or are they going to get into the fight? We will see next. Start of the fourth. Bucks trail by six. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with T. And it's Forbes in at the three. Here is Forbes. From the arc. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Well, he's got a great stroke. Almost dropped. Here's eight. He wants more fouls that's all it is more fouls and they will not win like that they gotta understand Phoenix is a good free throw shooting Team. Not gonna beat them by putting them to the stripes. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for the Bucks. And if you ask me, if this gets anywhere close to double digits, where it's, it's headed that way, I don't think Milwaukee be able to come back in this game. I mean, I could be wrong, but the way it's going now, they get a ten-point lead. That's that's gonna be enough. That's just a bucket from that. And so it's Milwaukee now. Eight point game. If I was them, I'd bring Milton back as soon as possible. Down low. And too much time in the lane. They get Look at that. Falling apart. Suns lean by eight. Booker outside. Pass to Paul from deep three point range. There it is. There it is. Like Tyrone Davis say, there it is. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. Shooting two.
The first free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Now the pass to Aiton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll they shoot can't free guard free. anybody without fouling. That's on Brooke Lopez. Oh, the, the officials are all over that. This one. is ridiculous. Really foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Taking two shots. I mean, come on. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. That's why I said, man, I I believe Phoenix going to win this thing. It's just too much. There's constant pressure. These guys are hungry. I'm not saying Milwaukee's not hungry. These guys are young. They got a floor general that's been knocked out his whole career. You don't think he wants this opportunity? Got a young Peyton Devin Booker. He sees it as well. You think he want to let go of this opportunity? I mean, this thing's been brewing for a while for them. Started in the bubble as well as they played. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, it's just a smart ball club. And to me, they just know how to play a team like Milwaukee. I mean, Giannis, I mean, he's a dominant force, but majority of his dominance is in that paint. And there's certain things you can do with that. I mean, they can send him to the line. They can corral it. Pull up a bear. A barrier. I'm sorry, I said a bear. <laughs> That's funny. A barrier. They can put up a barrier and uh, force him to kick it out. And, hey, it just depends on if they're going to hit the jump shot or not. So they might live with that. Poor as Phoenix. Just a tougher team to guard. You really don't know where it's coming from. I mean, they can have heroes every Come single night. From the line they can time. give you 25, 30 points. First minute and a half of basketball played here on the so you got to be very careful with them. You can't just say, I'm just going to double team eight. As he gets free once again. And you're going to draw more attention to Booker. And that's just going to open up things. As he still gets his. Can't double team Paul. He don't really care to score. He can hurt you. But you're just playing into what he wants to do, which is pass the ball. Trying to get open is open. So how do you contend with it? Look at that. They freestyling right now. Eight assists by Booker. Can't state how bad it they needed that. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. And the Bucks making a change here. Middleton's checked in. One shot. Throw good, Giannis. 
Y'all need it on the defensive end. Y'all losing man. Aiden in particular, he's getting back door for dunks. If not that, offensive rebounds. If not that, you're fouling him. Put him to the stripe. There it is again. Four on Lopez. Yeah, 23 in the first half, and he has 17 now. He's going to end up duplicating that before this one's over or surpassing it. At this pace, he can easily have 50. No doubt about it. The first one falls. But you can, I mean, it's easy to root for a guy like this. I mean, y'all hear him speak. The man's grounded. He's humble. He can be coached. He don't have that big head with all that talent he's got. So it's easy to root for him. I'm a big fan of him coming in early in this uh, NBA. So he's just going to get better. Before you know it, he'll be shooting threes consistently. He's already got the free throw game down. He's got the paint down. He can catch a lob. He can dunk. You know, he's got that turnaround. He's got the hook shot. I mean, Guy could be a monster. He's a monster now, but it's gonna get more crazy. It's gonna get scary. It's gonna get darn right scary. Catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey guys, well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout, and he was emphatic. He said, We are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. Oh You've man, got they got lucky. That had turnover written all over it. They couldn't even handle the ball. It was bouncing around. Ends up in his hands. He just flicks it up for two. Are you looking for that for your offense? <laughs> We might as well hit the buzzer right now. They'll take that all day long. I almost would guarantee he won't hit that turnaround consistently. That shot does nothing for nobody but himself for his points. Now look at him. He flies right into action. Oh, my goodness. You got to be kidding me. Great opportunity for a three-point play. You got to be kidding me. Look how he just came out of nowhere and snatched that ball. The first mistake is too much airspace in that paint. Nobody's getting the bodies. It's easy for him just to wrap around into a gap and go get a rebound. Shooting one. Unbelievable. Like I stated before, Lopez just does not have the foot speed to just go to a ball, to stay in front of his man, anything. All he can do is change shots in the paint when he's already planted there and uh, shoot outside threes. That's it. counts. Got Tough shot. Thought that could have been an and one. But even the refs get tired of blowing whistles sometimes. So he's, he's just beating him to the spot. He's running Lopez tired. Look how Lopez running out there on the floor. Like he's in slow motion. If they could get a hold of Aiden. I mean, they can get back in this game. But Suns are smart. They're going to keep milking him. Look at him coming off screens. Right there again. He just can't stay with it. 48 points. Now, 
here's Adi Dekumbo. There's the one. Like I say, man, in NBA 2K, matchups are key. I mean, his build and skill set are both. If you don't have the right matchup, you can get killed. And that's exactly what's happening in this whole fourth quarter. And there he goes with his pretty jump shot. Like I say, he just sits back. Let Aiden eat a little bit. Okay, you can just throw me a bone. I'll be here waiting on it. And splash. Bridges with the board. Phoenix has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Crowder, the rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his seventh. Push the ball, tonight. Holiday. Middleton Can't outside. be too tired. You ain't holding nobody. Here's Giannis. Rebounded by DeAndre. The man on him. Look what he a twist turnaround. Didn't even have his feet planted. Bridges with it. Kicks it to Booker. Watch him. Oh, good help. <laughs> Can't get wrong, right? What? He missed the layup? Finally? Somebody actually bothered his shot? He's an explosive athletic guard. Is that only two field goals that he's missed? Somebody tell me it ain't so. Tell me it ain't so. Oh, it ain't so. It ain't so. Boy with the 5-0. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. I don't think so. I don't think that'd be careful at all. Holiday, no one around him. Wide open. See? In the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two seconds. And Crowder slams it in. An awesome distributor. Booker's floor awareness and understanding of when to dish it is a real weapon. Now here's Middleton. Makes no mistake on the open shot. sweet pull up. Middleton's got 11 points here in just the second half. To the wing right side. Here's Paul trying to get open as Crowder. And Paul with the basket on the assist by Booker. And the Suns lead by 15. Holiday against Paul. And Holiday kicks to DiVincenzo. Nope. One, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Bridges trying to get open as Crowder. Bridges misses. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. And the rejection <laughs> by Eaton. Oh, man. Here's Booker. Up and in on the way. Booker's got five points. They're giving them all they can handle in the fourth quarter. Tremendous efficiency. All they can handle. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now. And that basket looks, you know, it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it could probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as their shooting. And the Suns got a timeout. And he could tell his guys starting to getting a breather for this last stretch run. Just let them get their legs back on Player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. And what an amazing ball game. NBA 2K, you got it right this time. It's a blowout, and you finally announced 
to play the game the right way. And for sure, he deserves it. Let's keep on getting it right. This crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. Shot from the inbound. Off the inbound, no good. Bucks trail by 15. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. And Giannis out of the Kufo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. Outside Crowder, pass to Paul. And Aiton gets double teamed. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be, good play defensively. And Holiday throws it down. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Here's Booker. But Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Jeff Teague, he's checked in What's for up? the Bucks. Free throw, no good for Anadokounmpo. Suns lean by nine. Bridges dishes to Paul. Well, at least I haven't tried to patch it up a little bit. My goodness. Why not? Why not? Passes to Anadokounmpo. Team for three. Jay Crowder pulls it in. Yeah, I say moving forward, he's going to definitely need to be double teamed a lot more. Oh, uh, that eight. They got to pay a lot more attention to him. Maybe even switch the matchup. I mean, Lopez just cannot hang with this guy. You better off really letting Giannis hold him. Think you'll get a better production. It might wear Giannis down, but what you got to lose at this point? Drive by Booker. Rebounded by the Bucks. Now here's DiVincenzo. Here's Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. 12 4 run, but it's coming way too late. 121 left in the game. Bridges passes to Paul. Way too late. Feet away, and it's Phoenix scoring again. Tell you what, that mid -range there goes the maestro. Really an assassin from there. Pulls up his patent little shot. jump shot. In this day and age, but CP he's got the green light to shoot it. Really, the defense is helpless. Five on Crowder, but hey, he's done what he can do. He ain't back down from the Greek freak, that's for sure. He made all those fouls count. And he shouldn't have to worry about fouling out of this game. What's up? That's good from out of the Kumbo. Eight point ball game. One oh four left here in the fourth quarter. But it's going to take a miracle. Even Genzo against Booker. Ball outside. Back to Booker. Oh. Nice back door. And yes, it deserves a time out. Nice win here for Phoenix. Their superior ball handling. One at four. And fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. That was a cherry on the ice cream sundae right there. And this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for DeAndre Ayton. 
Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton. He Vincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. There's 47 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Inside, here's Aiton. Milwaukee with Oh, he missed a bunny. His wrist probably tired. <laughs> That's probably why he missed that one. He gonna have to ice that thing down. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just gotta work that clock and take care of the ball. Hand gonna be swole like he was in a knuckle fight. And locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. When he's on the floor, Antetokounmpo makes good things happen. Inside. Yeah, they'll just I mean, wind so this one down. Skill, a lot for the it's definitely been entertaining. And you can't really call it a blowout, but hey. The fourth quarter was pretty much decided unless they was going to make a big run. But, you know, they got this thing under uh, double digits. So, it was entertaining. It was just too much aiding for them. They would definitely have to figure that out. Stats are coming up next. Yeah, look at those numbers. 20 for 25. You only missed five times in this ball game. And look at this free throw shooting. We know he can shoot free throws. He's 12 or 14. He's got to the line. 52 and 23. We're talking Will Chamberlain. We're talking Bill Russell type numbers here. Then look at Booker. You want to say he was quiet? Or you want to say he picked the spots? I'll say he picked the spots. 35, 6, and 11. 14 for 30. 4 for 7 from the three-point. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. Look at Paul. You know, if Paul put this type of numbers up at 46, they'll live with it. They'll say, okay. Yeah, you go ahead and play a few more years. You can do 18 and 10. We, we'll live with that. The boat and the ship will keep on moving. Look, at even Crowder got part of the action. That's where they made their mistake. He battling Giannis all night, led up to five fouls, and he still gets 16, 8, 7. 7 for 12 from the field. If he'd done that every game, he'd be getting a new contract. Yeah, man, they, they got the production. They even got help. So, a lot of people didn't play, but the ones that did, they contributed. And uh, Crowder really set it over the top, battling Giannis and then putting in his, grabbing the edge of a triple-double, if you want to say that. I mean, he filled up the stat sheet. So no complaints on the Sun side. They came with it. They're at home. They did what they were supposed to do is what they say. They always say we did what we were supposed to do. And that's what win two games at home. Let's check out these bucks. Giannis, like I said, you can expect these numbers from him. That we know what he can do. You know, it's always a bond who's gonna help him out. And we're gonna look into that. He's got 46, 13, 7. Five turnovers, though. Two blocks. Free throw line under his standard six and eight. That's good. And he didn't shoot a lot of threes, which he shouldn't be touching that anyway. But then we go to Middleton. Middleton had a good game. 
I hate to put more pressure on Middleton because I would say, man, Middleton, you should have scored 42. Maybe that would have got y'all over the hump to win this game. That's asking too much from him. I mean, 29, 6, and 7. 12 for 26 from the field. I mean, <laughs> don't cry about that. That means it's on other people to come up big. Divi Senzo, uh, to his standards, to me, he played a, a good game as well. It's not on him. This is the guy I would say it's on right here. Holiday has got to be a lot more great. He needs more attempts. His attempts should be in the 20s, in my opinion. He has to get 25 to 30. Uh, I even drop a few points in middle 10. Possibly, yeah, I, I'll say drop some points in Antetokounmpo's. Bring Giannis down to he can have 30 or uh, 25. But we got to have Holiday at 25 or 30. With more rebounds and the assist is okay. And for sure more attempts. So, yeah, that, that was the problem there. Portis, he needed more action. Four for five, that's not enough attempts. He started out aggressive. We can get him around that 15 to 18 points. Be a lot better. And Teague, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, he can play better off the bench, but he's an old vet. Uh, his time is limited. I mean, he's not getting a lot of opportunities, but if he could, and that was jumped up to 12 to 15 points, <laughs> That's a production you need. This is another guy you can blame it on. Lopez. But look who he's playing up against. DeAndre Ayton. Only could be two stars on that matchup. And we saw who that was. But he's got to find a way to get more points. He was 4 for 4. I mean, more threes, whatever the case may be. Got to get more involved. Too much pressure is on Giannis and Middleton to do way too much. So you can see where this was, was headed. Yeah. So let's check out these team stats. Both teams shot well. I mean, I mean, look at Milwaukee, man. They, they shot the ball from the field better than the Suns did. But then when you go look at that three-point line, different story, isn't it? 50%, 11 for 22. That's where they win it at the, at the uh, three-point line. So, they won it in four categories, Milwaukee. Just the points, the bench points, uh, defensive rebounds, blocks. You know, that that's the only thing they won the categories in. Phoenix tore up a lot of categories. Points in the paint, pretty much knotted up. You can't say anything there. Suns, of course, got the fast break points. Assists were high on both sides, but Phoenix got it close to 40. You know? Well, the rebounding, we saw where that was headed. Aiden alone <laughs> was out rebounded Milwaukee Bucks, but that's that's another story. So, yeah, man, I mean, there you have it. Game two. You see which way it went. I mean, 147 points by the Suns, close to a buck 50 to 138 by the Bucks. Goody Mo Gaming for sure. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't subscribed. Got to get the numbers up. But uh, until then, we out of here and I catch you. Peace.